Welcome to a little category that I like to call Asabinwa. A little bit of a mouthful to say, but it stands for all stages, all bosses, no wing. Uh, this is basically intended to just kind of be like a high right, highlight reel and play the best parts of the game. Uh, so, yeah. I really dig it. This is my favorite way to play the game so far. You can just play it on a new game plus file and nothing really messes with anything. And obviously, since there's no Doom Wing, you're still kind of playing the, label, the levels as you would story style. Um, but you don't have to do any crap like go to the boss gate twice because they decided not to spawn the challenge rooms until you do that. Uh, because that's like the old, <laughs> that's probably like the only gameplay gripe I have with this game is that and uh, Spectacle Highway, but... What's up, Silver Eye? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Oh. Oh, man. I needed to air boost double jump instead of double jump air boost. I also like doing this category because it's kind of like ILing a little bit, but it's... Uh, but it's RTA, so using Chaos Control doesn't mess with the time. Chaos control. Mess that up, that's okay. An Eclipse skin? What is a, an Eclipse skin? Been grinding this game? A lot of people have, it's really good. My favorite official Sonic game is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Love that game. Chaos Island, I mean, I'm just so happy that I can see any of the levels, Act 1 or Act 2, being people's favorite. Like all the, except for Chaos Act 2. Chaos Act 2 can heck right off. Oh, I should have, uh, I forgot. I like that the Chaos Control, when you get a Chaos Control capsule, it doesn't immediately give you Chaos Control. You have to wait until the energy, whatever it is in this game, flies into you. Um, but it's annoying right there. <laughs> it's like the only place it's annoying because you just boost right past the capsule. Kingdom Valley and Chaos Island definitely have the benefit of not uh, having Spectacle Highway segments. What's up, uh, Domby? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. You. Just an all stages category? <clears throat> I'm sure there will be. But I wanted to include all bosses, and I really, I much prefer playing Radical Highway without the wing than with wing. I need to uh, play around more in Radical Highway 1, but Radical Highway 2 is super cool uh, without wing. Yep, hi, Black Doom. My least favorite stage of the of the main stuff, it's Chaos 2. Um, it's still got, like, a decent level design philosophy, but it's mostly just Doom morphing. And Doom Morphine is honestly fine. I enjoy it. It just doesn't... The stage doesn't utilize it very well in 2D. I don't think. Oh, I didn't get to take the skill path. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I think up here and then onto this rail here is faster. Because this here is faster and you get to keep boost. Immediately loved it? Hey, let's go. If you don't mind me asking, what is it you love about it? Because I'm always looking to improve. And if you like the second channel, you might like the main channel stuff, especially things that are coming up soon. Yeah, Doom, Doom Morph is definitely one of those, like, you gotta give the game a couple playthroughs. I think there's a reason they give it to you so late. <laughs> 
What? So what I was tracking was this, are we doing better? Wow, even with the death. Uh, actually, with the death, is going to be a little slower. I forgot I split after results. Oh, or we're just right on time. Nice. Right, act two. Thankfully, two, like, I don't think for this category, it matters whether or not you actually have Doomwing available to you, since it's really easy to not use it. Even if you have it accidentally active, so if you just don't want to do the extra input, it doesn't matter. Tony Todd? I don't know who Tony Todd is. Uh, I shouldn't have air boosted there. Um, well. <laughs> this is what we call experimentation, chat. First run of the day, it doesn't count. Also missed top route there. Any percent? Uh, any percent, yeah. Uh, I think you have to use the wings in Radical Highway. There's a huge skip you can do with the wings that requires going out of bounds, which I'm not a huge fan of. But you, like, get the wings super early, and then you can just skip the level. Ah, very true. Very true, Amazon. You're right, you're right. Oh, I haven't, uh, played that game, so that's probably why I don't know him. Oh! Uh, got it. Nice. Hey, what's up, Noob to Sonic? Welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you're doing well. Coming in right in time. We're just getting started with our ass and boom. Uh, I think I said it right. <laughs> I can't deny that part of my love is the category name. Yeah. And I came up with it, so there's a, there's a little bias there. I thought that that one automatically opened. Maybe if you take the bottom route, it automatically opens. Hello, Kai. Doesn't he say it? I'm pretty sure in the cutscene he says he wants to defeat him on equal terms. Um... Yes, as long as you're throwing spears, I don't know if it's reduced, if the air drag is reduced or if it's nullified entirely. But constantly throwing spears is correct. Or else, at least I'm pretty sure. I'll have to see. I don't know, it looks like there might be a top route. Oh no, because you're over here. This part's a little rough with no wing, because it's obviously very clearly designed for wing. So the level design that is here is pretty rudimentary. Ultimate power. Heard this game is good? This game is good, man. Also, how you doing today? And the kid as well. Yo, I'm so fast. <laughs> Wait a minute. Teleport. No wing. Let's do it. I have played with the Tyrio skin, and it's, uh, it looks okay. In fact, I'm extremely popular on Twitter now, uh, because I'm a super funny man by screenshotting a conversation in this game and posting it. Heard it's dog shit? Oh, I don't know who you've been talking to. I don't, I don't want to go in-depth on opinions or anything for reasons, but, uh... It's good. Very fun game. So... I'm at an impasse here. I don't know if taking this route, this intended top route here, is faster, or if jumping off that rail and going to the side is faster. Cause this puts you pretty far forward. Yeah. 
I mean, the game definitely has, uh, has issues for sure. I will say, though, that it... To, to truly, I feel... Um, understand the quality of the game, it kind of requires a replay. Because my very first playthrough, my opinions were different. Yo, let's go, man. Yeah, every, uh, every level is just full of, like, a uh, little diversion things type stuff. This run at any percent, um, no hub world movement. So any percent, like you move around the hub world, you have to collect like all the doom upgrades and stuff. Um, you have to do the challenge acts. So every, uh, every, all five of the stages in the game have four challenge acts uh, that you have to do to complete. I don't know how to get to the top route here. I'm very confused on that. Because you don't go backwards. Never a gray area? I feel like some games have gray areas. I would say that majority of people are in the gray area. It's just that it's not fun to talk about gray area stuff. It's fun to talk about extreme things. Hey, what's up, Vault? How you doing today, man? Welcome to the stream. Yep, we don't need to hit Doom. We don't need to worry about hitting it. I think the sections might still be faster by hitting him. So... There's a jump... Th I saw... I saw Zans was able to do, like, this jump off of the pink rail there uh, to get a bunch of height, but I haven't been able to jump. Like, the game just doesn't let me jump. Which uh, you can see on input display, probably. Hydrate? I just took a drink. I'll do it after this level. But don't forget, chat, the hydrates are for everyone, not just me. Nice. Or maybe, uh, Doom just altered the reality. Uh, to have a shadow ad. Because Easter eggs can't exist in Sonic games, there has to be a reason for them. <laughs> I'm doing well, dude. How are you? Happy Thursday to you. Hey, what's up? Sonic Coochies? All right, well, <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> how I, uh, the nickname I make up for you, but welcome to the stream, dude. Oh, LaShawn. Oh, welcome back, man. It has been a while. Okay, I think I want to take middle route here, so that way I have chaos control and can take this. Uh, that's unnecessary. How's game volume, chat? Let me know. It's good? That's good. I don't know why, but for some reason on OBS, this game is super loud. So for context, I normally have a gain filter on my OBS for the game set to plus 20 decibels. For this game, I have to put it at minus 10. So it's 30 decibels lower than normal. And this is with it at one in my volume mixer. So like it plays super low for me, but for some reason OBS registers it as extremely loud. Oh, my bad. Too used to the auto splitter. But also, hello, x Rocks. How you doing? That's good. Glad that uh, Switch players are able to play the game the same as everybody else. Uh, this isn't really going to be a crazy gold. I skipped the split. Got 
This this level is really fun, man. Like it does such a better job at like having a lot of active gameplay than Rail Canyon One does. Oh, how was that? I was very sleepy for most of it and flipping out because of all the stuff going on. Asabinwa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, lizard time. I will end your suffering. That's because we found him, Lima. You can't keep this we found him. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? Also, this is great here. <laughs> you just don't even have to engage with this <laughs> part of the fight. I do wonder if there are going to be patches for stuff like that. They're probably, I would imagine they're probably waiting a week, especially for the majority of the player base to get their hands on the game. I think this run can sub hour. Dude, they're so gross. The sound effects in this fight are disgusting. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? This boss fight is also where, like, the you can only um, homing attack things that are on camera become, like, a problem. <clears throat> so I always found this a little bit weird, is that the bio lizard stuns here, but you can't do anything. Like, he just, like, sits there for a couple seconds, and then you just have to wait anyway. Uh, I mean, you can use Chaos Control. And Doom Spear, I guess. Just Chaos Control and then ride up the wire. Uh, I mean, Chaos Control isn't required in this fight until the very end here. I don't- I don't actually know, uh, if Chaos Control is even required here. I'm pretty sure it is to hit the- the big ball back at him. I had no idea what it was. Like, I- I had no... Did I even know it was Chaos Island? I honestly don't remember my initial reaction. Okay, is the homing attack? Yeah, it's probably because I clicked with my mouse. Wait, you straight up just can't play the game on keyboard? That's... That's so bad. That's actually so bad. It's a good thing everyone's playing the Shadow Generations portion. <laughs> oh, I did go me. Um, Shadow release for PO6. Uh, Shadow release 1.0 release September 7th, 2021. And... Silver release 1.0, released April 19th, 2023. Nope, that was wrong. This stage gets brownie points from me, not because it's an 06 level, but because there's no Spectacle Highway in it. <laughs> so Amazon, I assume you know why, but I wanted to tell you since you weren't here. So 
Um, Classic Sonic, for whatever reason, has the drop dash by default in Green Hill 1 when you start a new game. But for the rest of the game, the drop dash is a 30-point skill that you have to equip to him. Um, I'm not going to say why, but the workload of this release is significantly more than any release prior. So, I don't, I don't think judging the previous releases on this one is a solid way to guess. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you can circumvent this. I don't think you have to go in here. A little uh, air boost chaos spearing. This is another point where only homing attacking on camera is annoying because you basically homing attack an enemy and then you have to jump backwards. Who knows, maybe they just couldn't do it. Like, maybe it broke when you, like, equipped the shields and stuff, because you can't drop dash at all uh, if you have a shield. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try this. So, instead of taking that down here. There's a crazier way to do this, but I feel like that's fairly fast and safer. Six hours of play yesterday it was awesome. I'm really glad I this category came to my brain because uh, I have a lot more fun. I'm able to get more reps in on the part of the game I care about most. And uh, I also think it's a much better length of run. I have a good feeling that if, uh, if I continue to do this category, I could probably get it down to like... 50 minutes or 45 minutes. Oh, well, that was probably the worst time I could have done that. Ooh. Oh. oh, man, I just missed that. Oh, well. Hey, what's up, Sydney? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're doing uh, some Asabunwo runs. All stages, all bosses, no wing. And uh, it's a blast, man. There is a quick step. In fact, in this game, the quick step is infinite. Like, you can just hold the button and Shadow will just keep going left or right. What's up, Chad Plays? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Stacks up to the boost games? Um, I don't want to answer that question. And the reason will be very clear very soon. What I will say is that I have done a full second playthrough of the game, story, cutscenes, and all. Uh, like, on my own time. So, like, I wasn't in a call with anyone, I didn't have anything, it was just me in the game. Would I rate the game out of 10? I don't like rating games out of 10, because it's just putting an arbitrary number on it. The game's good. Easily. But also, hello, 30th man, how you doing? Because if I were to give this game, say, like, an 8 out of 10, I would probably also give a game like Metroid Dread an 8 out of 10. But, like, they're two completely different games, but they're somehow both 8 out of 10. I'd probably give Dread a 9 out of 10, honestly.
I don't like ranking my friends to pick a best friend. <laughs> Yeah, plus the concept for this game is great because they don't have to hear complaints about reusing assets. Because it's generations. <laughs> That's why they should do DLC for this, because if they're gonna reuse the assets, they might as well indulge in it. <laughs> I know that there's no way that there's going to be any new levels for base gens, but that would also be sick. But I'd easily feel like they could just do, like, a Tails DLC pack where you get Tails in one level and maybe you can play as Tails in the Shadow stages, I don't know. That probably wouldn't work, but maybe, like, even getting, like, two levels? I'd pay ten bucks for a new character in, like, two levels. Or, I mean, if they wanted to make, like, an Act 1 and Act 2. Well, I don't think OG Generations could get DLC because I don't think that they could create stuff in Hedgehog Engine 1 anymore. Obviously, some of the cutscenes in the game were from Hedgehog Engine 1. Wow, look at all these rainbows! I'm playing so well. Alright, hopefully practice makes perfect here. Thankfully, uh, spear, I think folks are calling it spear gliding, which I don't know if spear gliding really describes what's happening because you're not gliding with it. Like, it's not maintaining your altitude, you're just not, uh, you're just not losing speed. You're stalling, but you're not stalling either. Oh, okay, thank goodness I landed. It's fine. Spear anti decelerator. I mean, like, I feel like a thing that would describe it the best would be, like, spear speed, but that's not really a good description of what you're actually doing with the trick. Oh, the dude was under me. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, that's definitely better than the alternate path. Spear boost, but you're not gaining speed. Right? That's the problem. You are you are retaining speed. Spear retainer. <laughs> It's fun, Manny. I, uh, I quite enjoy it. Cruise control! <laughs> yeah, Savik said it best that Radical Highway is the main character of this game.
I have no idea, Amazon. I can't tell you. I've only been doing it for a short time. Stop me. When it comes to speedrunning, PO6 is my bread and butter, so it's hard to stay away from it. Not even content-wise, because I do way more than just PO6 content now. But I also really want to um, get a low 2250 in Sonic's 80%. But this is like new and fun right now, and everyone's hype about it, so might as well join in, right? I'm having fun, so... Like, I'm not just doing this because content, I'm doing this because it's fun. I'm amazed, though, that a new Sonic game has uh, captivated me into speedrunning, even though I don't like speedrunning that much. Alright, I think staying just up top here is the move. Wait, isn't there a rail there? I don't know why I didn't land on the ramp. Hey, what's up, Piggy? Yes. Very much a believer in that the mood of the streamer dictates the stream, so... If I'm having a good time, it's... I You guys can only have as much fun as I am having, so... I enjoyed the game. I think the game's great. Also, if you didn't know, Chaos Control completely fills... The, your boost meter again. From PO6, you don't like speedrunning? Yes. I prefer just like playing games or like time attacking. Not like full on speedrunning. Or I'm like trying to hyper optimize. PO6 is an exception to that. The views help, certainly. But. Very thankful for PO6 and Chaos and Beats and, and everyone. PO6 just captivates me so much and is just so fun to move around in that uh, I don't mind speedrunning it and trying to optimize it. The documentary on me will be interesting. Yeah, I remember uh, when I did that short little interview with uh, AF Wagers. Um, for his Sonic Extravaganza. Um, we did a couple takes of the interview, and the first time when he asked me, like, what got you into speedrunning the game, I said the views, and he laughed like I was kidding. <laughs> and, then, and then he realized I was serious and went, oh. <laughs> I'm out of boost. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, made it. I almost wish that was like a little automated there so you couldn't do that. You have a good sense of humor, but it was it wasn't a joke. <laughs> As I kept speedrunning PO6 because of the views. And in turn, I just kind of ended up really liking it as well. Cuz at that point, like I was just trying to find something that uh, people gravitated toward. And I was like, I kind of like this PO6 game. What if I like... Just like did it. My very first like content series on PO6 was the road to Deathless. It wasn't even speedrunning the game. I just wanted to beat the story's Deathless. In fact, that was what I was going to do and then just be done. And then I was like, well, what if I put a timer on it? And then, uh, that, like, um, I think mean, you can still find the video on my second channel. It's called, like, my first Sonic PO6 speedrun. Had, like, 
I think it got like 5,000 views in a day. And I think it's probably at like 10 or 15,000 views now. And I said, all right, this is my thing. And I've been doing it ever since. I love it. Speaking of loving it, I love Metal Overlord. First name fried, last name water. Kind of a long name. The shorter you can make your name on the internet, the, the easier it is for everybody. <laughs> My opinion. I'm also of the opinion of just like... If people are just going to call you by the shortened version of your name, might as well just have the short name to begin with. Like that's kind of why I went with Stelmo, because I was like... That's just, that's like, just it. And yourself A to Z, yeah, exactly. It's actually the same philosophy my parents had when naming me and my brother because my last name is so long. They wanted a short first name. That wasn't going to be shortened anyway. Oh, I think I really messed this up. Oh wait, no, that was... Yeah, I'm an idiot. Never mind. That was just the first time. I thought we were going into Tailspin for a second. My last name is 13 letters long. Um, I I don't really have an opinion. Like it's fun. Wazowski. Yep, just like Mike. Should have been Stelmo 13. Nah. Stelmo 98's got a good ring to it. Always has. You think you can stop me? <laughs> if I were to make goofy splits name split names, I would call this Wind Waker. I'm also just really happy to hear what I'm made of again. This song's great. And it's nice that it has a good boss fight to go along with it now, too. Hey, that's fine. They did the same thing with Speed Highway in the original game, so... Can you just hold A? I wonder if you can hold A. Because that'd be really nice. Nope, yeah, press it. Okay. And poof! Not even any debris. Saddle should literally just non exists him. Chaos one. Can you mash A? I mean, yeah, you can mash A. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Atomized. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Do they have all the original variants of the stages in this game? Like his background music? Oh, I don't need to hit that. I'm not convinced that this uh, tether here is faster. I haven't really looked at any speedruns of Chaos Island. This is still mostly just uh, my experimentation with the level. What do you do? I mean, you can uh, you can swat it or accept fate. Oh, how nice! I landed back on the platform. That's funny. Level actually looks interesting? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, 
Like rivaling gens? Like you mean like looks fun to play? Compared to everything you've seen up until now? Lots of pathways? Have you, uh... Have you not been looking at, uh... <laughs> the gameplay? All the stages have a bunch of, like, pathways and diversions. I guess maybe it's a little bit more obvious with the color palette of this stage. Because uh, it's mostly gray and then you have all, like, the greens and stuff. I wouldn't necessarily say this game has alternate pathways other than, like, Radical Highway actually has a lot of alternate pathways that I would call pathways. They're more like little route detours and diversions. If I messed that up, I was supposed to uh, hook the tether. Uh, I should have gone. Probably chaos control there would have been good because I have to have it active here anyway. This. And then I think here is good. Yeah, it gets me all the way over. So I need to wait for the teleport there on that one. <sighs> Did it again. More worth exploring? I mean, all the levels are. I gotta say. Maybe it's just the most obvious here. I don't know. 251, nice. It really is. I like Doom more if it's just unfortunate that it takes a little to get to. I, <laughs> I don't know why I went to the stage select there. I guess I just didn't want to walk. It's your favorite? Well, good for you. All right, see you, Silver Eye. Thanks for hanging out with us. Enjoy the game. I don't have a favorite. I can't really uh, say honestly. I have a least favorite, which is this act. Like, the con the consistency is very high in this game. Like, there's no massive quality difference between each level. Except for this one. I wonder if waiting for the platform to fall there is uh, good. I don't know if it's another pathway or if it just makes you wait. Gymnast has more replayability. They both have a bunch of replayability. Like you're talking between Sonic Gens and Shadow Gens. They both absolutely nail the replayability. In fact, I think... Nah, I'll save that. <laughs> For another time. You caught me monologuing. Wow, sub two! First sub two. Nice. All right, me files. When's the Stelma 98 review of the game? You'll see what, what uh, what's coming. I, will I have yet to decide if I want to do like a full Stelma 98 video on it. Um, based on uh, trying something a little different. <laughs> So we'll see after after what I'm talking about happens and if people still want a full stomach on a video on it. Okay. 
What I want to do is I want to Doom Blast now. Uh, because Doom Blasting here, I have to do this twice no matter what. So I might as well not waste the uh, animations now because it's faster to do the initial. So I think I just need to do a single mash and then I can... Single mash, now Doom Blast here. Yep. I think that's faster than spamming it all the first time. I'm unsure though. I mean, if you uh, if you need to be extrinsically motivated, you're probably right with Sonic Generations, just because it has more stuff in the level. Plus, you have the addition of the three Chow in every level now. Come on over, bud. Hello? Wait, I didn't know he... I thought he only spawned those in his hands. Interesting. Why did that spawn early? And... One, two, three, four, five. GG. That's that's exactly what Shadow says. How do you know? Worth the split. No way, dude. All right, now here is where I'm kind of on my own because everyone's doing any percent right now where you have the Doom Wings for this stage. So uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a homemade DIY routing here. Hey, what's up, Mohammed? I'm doing awesome. How are you, man? Welcome to the stream. If anyone does no wing runs of Radical Highway, please tell me, uh, the, the heat, the hottest, uh, the hottest new strat. Is there something over here? There's something up over there. Gonna be a lot of experimentation here. I'm a copyright moment. Oh. No wings is so good. I believe when you're going through the story, though, you have to use wings for this level because there's like a whole cutscene and such. Um, that wasn't correct. I didn't even know you could swing on these backwards. Well, you're gonna have to play it at least once in order to unlock it. Unless you're on PC, I'm sure there's a 100% save somewhere. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. All the golds and I'm losing it all here. I don't know why I didn't have the air boost. Fell in love with Radical Highway because uh, Sonic Team loves Radical Highway, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think I missed a uh, whole swing. I could have changed it. I'm going to die here. Don't worry, folks. We got speed running at home is what this is. Yeah. 
That doesn't matter as much, I don't think. You ask me a question? Go for it. You can ask me anything as long as it's in the rules. I just decide whether or not to answer it. Favorite stage music? Um, hmm. See, now that's an interesting question. <laughs> I don't think I have an answer for you at the current moment. advise you to buy this game. I mean, if you like what you see and you think you'll get a lot of value out of it, then absolutely go for it. Yeah, this level is really going to take some learning. Yo, let's go, man. Hopefully you recorded it. Love to see it on the leaderboard. I think we're at the end of the stage. Man, this is a long one. Do 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 do. What the hell are you talking about, Manny? <clears throat> I guess it's technically not no wing because we use the wings in Devil Doom, but it's fine. When you're really zooming through these levels, they can be like, um, maybe like two to three minutes, which I think is a good stage length. Knowing with an asterisk. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, what am I going to do? Not fight the final boss when I fight all the other bosses in the run? I just quit out. <laughs> I quit out at uh, Devil Doom. Or after I beat uh, phase one. Wow. Hey, what's up, Rypi? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, speedrun. Uh, so far, it's fun. I have fun speedrunning it. I am uh, very slow when it comes to learning strats, though. So, doing a lot of homemade stuff. That is unfortunate timing. Thanks, invincibility frames. It is so fun playing this level uh, without wing. Like, you just fly over all this really cool stuff.
Amazing how that works, right? Right? Isn't that crazy? We actually engage with the game mechanics. It's really fun. Who would have thunk? Oh, 05 Devil Doom or Devil Doom from Shadow Gens? I mean, oh, 05 Devil Doom is literally like not even a boss fight. It's just like a crappy Super Sonic or I guess Super Shadow minigame. Whereas the one here is a level, so I think it's uh, not, a, not even a contest. All of the boss battles in the adventure era are like not that great mini games other than like perfect chaos is okay because you're still kind of playing a regular sonic game there i think this is the end i can't remember I remember at Radical Highway 1. Oh, Solaris is, is awful. So bad. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do it. Well, technically on the world select, it doesn't have that we use wings, so... Sonic series ever have good bosses? It does. Uh, Perfect Chaos in Sonic Generations and Metal Overlord and the final boss here. In Shadow Gens. You are made to serve my will. Now, As their fundamentals of the boss fight are based on what you've been doing the entire game, which is playing the levels. Sadly, uh, Super Sonic doesn't really have a fantastic boss yet. Uh, right. And then pop up for this one. Pop up for this one. Oh, that sucks. Oh, full restart. That is super unfortunate. Level as a boss feels like cheating? Um, I disagree. Because it can create stuff like this, where it's not just about getting through the level, it's you have this objective of defeating a boss, which whether it's through repeated actions or being a little bit more creative. And that's what I talk about with Sonic enemies that I like I don't like it when sonic enemies are just regular ass enemies I like when they're dynamic obstacles that help you with plant platforming or require you to think differently metal overlord and devil doom here require you to think differently with your abilities because you're not just going through a level you're trying to fight and defeat a boss If we want if we want to if we want to get spicy the frontier supersonic boss the only positive i have to say for the frontier supersonic bosses is that you are doing the same thing that you are doing with regular sonic in the game and that's where i'll leave it because <laughs> i don't feel like talking about that again no sub hour that's fine I mean, this is my second time doing this run, so... Made too many mistakes, unfortunately. 
This is my second time running this category. First run of today. Is run tiers worth getting? In my opinion, no. But it being worth it to you is a different story. Can you change the background music in this fight? I imagine it just stays to whatever you pick for phase one and phase two. I have surpassed you. Time to end this once and for all. Run invalidated, I know, dude. I'm a fraud. What's up, Epic Red Hot? How you doing? But technically, I did not activate them. And this is a different wing shadow than the one that you play with in the regular stages. This is gonna be a chunky time save because I actually know how to fight this guy. The death uh, kind of sucks though. I should say that the Devil Doom part is good. Uh, I mean, this is fine. You're doing like somewhat what you did in Metal Overlord, so. Unfortunately, I missed that uh, last hit. Good, very good. Would have been really bad. If you get hit by that, it's like crazy time loss. All right, and then I don't know when is when is the official timing end? Is it when this cutscene is over or after the last input? Sonic Riders probably. See, it should be last A press, but it's probably just way nicer to just do it here. You know? Right there. Cutscene change. Alrighty, 103.57. Good place to start. Yeah, BB, BB, BB. I definitely prefer this a lot more to any percent. Absolutely. So, if this goes on the Stumbo Show, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.